Hello again everyone, welcome to another episode of Imperator Rome. Uh, specifically, I was about to say we're going to be continuing our Rhodes one, but we are no longer Rhodes. We are the Aegean League, and we are building up for a war with Rome. Uh, we'll see how it goes, we'll see how it goes. So really, if we want to finish our mission trees here... I need to build up Athens. I need some metropolises. I also need better cities. And I need to incorporate um, Helnic and Aegean uh, cultures. That's fine. The only other thing is a new Greek power, which means I need to take all of this off Rome, basically. So to that end, I think we drill our army to begin with. And we're going to be focusing on some of our economy. of new buildings built. So if we're building metropolises, uh, I probably need to focus on some of the cities down here. Two more of them built. Ellis also will need additional pops. Uh, let's go for provincial loyalty. Uh, so we just need money, which I could just strong arm, but our stability is already pretty damned low. In fact, why are we using so much stability? Aggressive expansion. Ah, yes, we got some pretty heavy aggressive expansion. Okay. Uh, hmm. How are we going to cope with this? I think... I want to go down this route. Okay, well, we can call nice stuff over there as well. Kind of want to take Cyrenica just for clean up borders, maybe. Certainly take some of the Nile area. How are we doing? 5,000 pops. Uh. So Egypt and Rome are bigger than us, but oh, and Carthage as well. But it's not ridiculously uh, many more, except for Egypt. It's entirely possible that we actually uh, manage to have more pops than them by the end of the game. You need don't think you need that, so let's continue making some changes here. Unrivaled wealth. Uh sure, her claim is valid. So if I want to do a bit more expanding here. There are bits of Greece. And so on that we need to deal with. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, oh, whoops, that was not the one I wanted. It's encouraged trade. But all of these I want uh, encouraged trade on. <laughs> have some issues with food once again over here. Let's keep importing grain. This fort has failed quite a few 42s already. There's only 128 men left inside it. There we go. Didn't even take any aggressive expansion there, because... Um any issues with colonizing that province we decolonized it because we killed off so many pops and there were not enough remaining uh, yeah we'll do that we're getting a large chunk of a large chunk of gold <laughs> That's a capital there. Let's hire this mercenary group. We've got more import routes available. We're gonna go for wine. Uh lose a ton of gold. No. to crush the remaining areas down here. We've got a couple of forts to take, but that's fine. We're finishing the infrastructure upgrades. I think the next thing I need to do is roads. Roads for roads. Oh, they hide a little pretty large mercenary army. I think what we do here is assault, which means that I can do that. So, what we're going to do here is start building roads. Uh, hmm. Keep close eye on him. Hmm. 
infrastructure project and winning them over would be nice. Uh, we too can gather supporters. Public. Settle the more rowdy veterans. I'll just outbid them. It's fine. Uh, let's go equal integration and then defending liberty will be the next one. Them. No more civil wars, we've already had two in pretty recent memory. We don't want another one. are doing fine. Now we have a slave uprising to go deal with. There's 10 stability, 250. That's fine. Gonna continue our road policy. Right, Athens. Athens, Athens, Athens. To work on it, your infrastructure. Oh, breakthrough, nice. Civic advances. In fact, no, we still need to finish going all the way down to urban planning. So we'll do that next. That denial will suffice. And you will be made into a metropolis momentarily. I just need to actually save up enough political influence to do so.
Okay. I'll loop you around, that'll be fine. Uh, let's go for... Let's get some salt. Or Legion maintenance cost reduction. Out of interest, did you get peer? You do. Good. Okay. You're going to be a Metropolis Leprion. I think Ellis will be next. Uh, what tradition are we going to take here? Probably... Hmm. Let's just go Legacy of Salamis. to build a road over to Aureus. We'll use another 80 political influence. Oof, that's a big hit, but uh, we can tank it. The oligarchs are not happy with us. They have it under control. <clears throat> I almost feel like I need another another army at this point. I suppose I can afford to make more than one group of roads. Whilst we're waiting for our aggressive expansion to dip. So, any mercenary armies over here that are good? Get any additional stability for now. Uh, sign some more cohorts, that's fine. I think pretty much all the provinces at this point are pretty loyal. I actually don't know whether it has any other economic benefits, but I do like building roads. Makes it look pretty cool, if nothing else. And just in case someone does actually land armies... Just means I can uh, rapidly move my troops around as required. Right, Cecilia, you need a new governor, that's fine. Right, that's a lot of armies <laughs> in one area. Cecilia is home of the mercenary groups, apparently. Ok, 
Okay, we don't need more iron, so let's cancel that one. Let's import some step horses for population output. Uh, lose 10k manpower for 10 approval from the oligarchs. Sure. Focus on getting our roads built up in the north. Really need to solidify my control in some of the lands down here. is definitely definitely worthwhile okay you're almost done let's get urban planning to relocate capital and found a metropolis here you need to be the capital of Attica we also need a new governor in Greece Roads over here are already mostly fine. We'll add one or two more, sure, but uh, there's already quite a lot of roads in Ionia. <laughs> I suppose you could say there's a lot of roads in Ionia. Uh, one siege protocol. Mm, sure. Corruption decrease is nice. deal with all the roads we need there. I'm probably going a bit too overboard, but yeah, it's fun. And I need to get do something whilst away from my aggressive expansion to drop, so uh, I don't see any reason why not. Right, Argos. You need more pops.
Which you're going to be a uh, metropolis as well. have to be metropolis no building slots spare yeah that's all fine we can do that i should go for the global monthly food modifier for a bit i think i'm gonna think about building a wonder at some point soon Shrines of Dionysus. Expensive, but worthwhile. Need more political informants. It's the main thing uh, stopping me now. buildings we can have down here. You got enough food? Yeah, you'll be fine. Alright, let's drill army then. Continue to get buildings built. Uh, let's go for a bit of stability, I think. Uh, one more month, I'll be able to start founding a metropolis in Athens. Foundries everywhere is probably going a bit overboard, but it is a really good building. All right, uh, everything in our capital. <laughs> Yes, there's a few things. There's a few things we can build. So our grand infrastructure pro uh, program seems to be doing pretty well overall. Athens is 
in the process of being turned into a metropolis, which is good news. And I think that will be that for this episode. Thank you very much, everyone, for watching some more in Poets of Rome. I wish you a good evening, and I will see you in the next episode.